Hi there. Um, just a bit of a um, thing that we were discussing about uh, debriefing. I just thought it might be easier to say it rather than type it. Um, anyway, debriefing is, should be a really simple process to help anybody who has been left with difficult or unhappy or even elated feelings about something that's happened to them. So in the context of us as celebrants, um, you know, that could be uh, um, an encounter with a, a client that went really well that you've learned a lot from or it could be an encounter with a client or a family or a ceremony that we've done that, that hasn't gone so well and it's left you with some difficult feelings and some questions. So in order to give a good debrief you need to do it with somebody who you trust and they need to be really clear about what their role is. So their role is to be position neutral and to ask you some key questions that are not emotionally loaded. So that might be something like, what role were you undertaking um, when this thing happened? What do you think the expectations of other people were? What, what were you expecting yourself? Have you been clear with them from the outset? What, what was going to happen? What actually did happen? Have you got any thoughts about... Um, what made that thing happen? What do you what do you make of it now that it's happened? What what what's, what emotions are are you feeling? And also just to check in, you know, whether those emotions actually um, link in with any other similar feelings that you might have had in the past, so that you know you can see how that one thing could remind you of another thing, and there <clears throat> and whether your reaction. Um, is steady state or whether actually it's about m more than just that thing. Um, also, um, just trying to think about um, if imagining that if someone neutral and entirely unconnected were um, watching whatever it was that was happened, what do you think they would be seeing and what do you think they might say? Um, it's useful sometimes to think out of your own head with these things um, and to think about what it would be like if somebody were observing them. The key thing is to understand what feelings um, it's left you with, whether they are things you just want to resolve naturally or whether you um, and over time or whether you want to um, talk with anybody um, a little bit more about about them. Um, and the key purpose really of debriefing is one, so that you're not left with difficult feelings and that you've actually told somebody else. And two, that you go away from a debriefing session with a plan, i.e. something very simple, maybe just one or two things that you can do um, in order to not be left with, with these difficult feelings and questions that you might have. So if you're the person who's offering the debriefing, it's about being position neutral. Um, about having a few key questions to ask and not getting drawn into the emotion of the person that's uh, talking to you, just allowing them free reign to talk about what they want and then to ask some non-directive questions. What happened next? Um, what would you like to happen? What do you think um, you could do? Um, is there anything that you need to do to help the other person who is part of it? Um, most of all, what have you learned from it? Um, because that's how we grow uh, as professionals. So I um, hope that's been really helpful. Um, yeah, I hope that's been really helpful. And um, I'm going to show this to Rachel now and see what she thinks. OK, bye bye.